Hello my fellow Aldi addict, it's another Sunday and I'm here at Aldi. I absolutely love grocery shopping every Sunday and today is even more exciting because it's my very last day of keto. I did my four weeks, I got lots of good data and I'll be sharing that on my fasting channel. But I am very excited to plan a normal meal plan this week, except for it's Thanksgiving of course, but I am back to eating the same meals as my family. I'm very excited about that. So let's get into the store, see what I find and my meal plan will be at the end. My kids have very little school this week, so we need more food at home than normal, and these muffins look like they'd be great for some breakfast. I'll split them. $1.99 each. Love red stickers. My girls love to have some sort of crunchy with their lunches, a fruit, a veggie, a crunch, maybe cheese. $1.69 for these leaves. They picked these. Okay, so these were not on my list, but you guys know I love to stick these in the freezer, so I'm getting two of them at $0.89 cents a piece after you take the $2 off. Yay! It's been a while since I found these on Red Sticker. 85 cents for white bread, toast, Nutella sandwiches. I get this every week. You know the drill. And then the meal I decided I wanted to eat after having keto for four weeks was chili dogs. So I'm making homemade chili sauce. I use Hebrew National hot dogs from Costco and I need the buns. So 79 cents. I'm making chocolate covered strawberries for Thanksgiving that look like turkeys, so these are way more than I want to pay, but the kids will have fun making them. $3.69. We always have cilantro, and I moved butter chicken from last week's meal plan to this week's. I need it for $0.79. Okay, sugar snap peas for the vegetable tray. I'm gonna find a good bag. $2.39. Gallon of milk, $2.41 for 2%. So I signed up to bring whipped topping for my daughter's um, sixth grade hot chocolate get together they're having and look what they don't have this week, of course. So I'm trying to decide to get a flavored one or go somewhere else. So I ended up getting two of the maple at $2.89. 10 pounds of potatoes for $1.69 EA. For my mother-in-law's, I am making mashed potatoes to take for our second Thanksgiving of the week. I make them in my Instant Pop. chili dogs. My daughter Elsie and I are very excited for that dinner. $1.59 for the bag. Another easy side for lunches this week, $1.95 applesauce. I was asked to get raspberry preserves, $2.45. $2.99 for many peppers for a vegetable tray, easy addition. Also grape tomatoes. You guys know we love these. Let's see, how much are they? dressing to put in the vegetable tray, $1.19. Love this stuff. Okay, I'm going to get hopefully six of these unflavored waters at 57 cents a piece. I had to go last week to a different Aldi to find enough, but I essentially drink one a day. Look at these adorable Christmas finds, kettle corn, caramel corn, gingerbread cats, the peppermint Oreo cookies. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Lots of cute things. Ran out of onion powder, $1.49. And minced garlic, $1.79. Okay, this is requested to get this this week. My kids absolutely love the Aldi version, Easy Mac, $2.55. We don't have any pasta in our pantry, so I'm getting spaghetti for $1.39. And a box of penne once I find it and a box of pennies for 79 cents. I don't really have plans for these, but it's always nice to have noodles for a quick pinch. I'm also making green bean casserole for my mother-in-law's uh, Thanksgiving. So $1.85 for French onion pieces. And because I'm picky about using French style green beans, I bought those at Walmart. We do so much holiday baking, but we like to bake our cookies from scratch. But I think these are super cute and really nice kits. If you're looking for something easier, I'm getting chocolate almond bark to dip my um, turkeys in. And chocolate covered strawberries, $2.15 for chicken broth for a chicken pot pie with dried biscuits in it. 
85 cents for many marshmallows. These are going to be the chocolate covered strawberries. I'll show you what I hope they look like. $1.15 for a bag of flour and $2.02 for a bag of sugar just to get ready for our baking. Lots of red stickers today, but I've never seen 30% off stickers. Come on, make the math easy. Give me a $2 or something. I'm getting chicken for butter chicken and my chicken pot pie. 862. I normally use freezer chicken, but since I'm using a lot of chicken this week, I'm buying it fresh. Okay, so I'm so delighted they still have some of the sugar cookie creamer because I found a mixed drink using Kahlua, vodka, and this that looked amazing to me. So I'm picking it up, not for coffee, but for an adult beverage or two. 318, yummy. This looks pretty yummy. Again, I don't really use creamer, but I thought people might like to see that. I've seen that this is amazing, a cranberry jalapeno dip, so I'm also going to take this with my veggie tray to Thanksgiving at $3.99, and if I'm the only one that eats it, so be it. So the meat coolers look a little different than they did last week. I've made this turkey breast before in my instant pot, it's pretty good. My kids like to have these as part of lunch sometimes, $1.49. And then it's our $1.65 for season fries to go with chili dog tomorrow, which I can't wait for. Okay, mixed vegetables to go in my chicken pot pie with drop biscuit dinner for 79 cents. I really wanted blueberry wine for Thanksgiving dinner, the normal one. They don't have it anymore. So I think I'll skip out on wine. Really cute holiday wrapping paper, only $1.99. Tape, Christmas countdown boxes, disposable plates. Here are the beautiful pop-up cards, $1.99. Guys, I'm buying these. Let's see how long before I can resist eating them, $2. Here are the bows I saw in the ad. I love this color, all the bright colors. I'm gonna get a pack for $2.29, and then I didn't know I was looking for this, but this is my favorite cereal last year, and I'm getting it again. Buddy the Elf. Although it doesn't say, okay. So it's maple flavored, essentially kicks with Lucky Charms, yummy. $2.49. My local Aldi finally got, oops, let me see here. The book advent calendars on. They're $9.99, 24 different stories. They have Disney, Disney Princess, and Marvel. I'm not getting one, but they're here. These are also back. I love buying these for my husband's stocking. I have already bought him a bunch of snacks for it, so I'm not gonna get these this year, but I bought, I think, every flavor, $2.49. They're very yummy. Lots of stocking stuffers and stuffing. These look yummy. Peppermint bark cookies. Okay, so here are the mesh organizers. It doesn't look like we have the one with an upper compartment. We have the one with a drawer. Uh, not sure if there's other ones back there. 
stand mixer. These are $15. I wanted the different setup one. Um, different, they say, taco accessories. I have one of these, but in a different brand, and I think it's wonderful. I've bought a lemon press from Aldi before. They have giant pet beds, the furniture, steam mop, more pet beds, the sofa cover. It looks like the Pokemon sold out already this morning. So when I was wondering how big the Beanie Boos were, look guys, I mean, is this not the cutest thing ever? How adorable is that? I kind of want it for myself. Honestly, that is just the cutest stuffy I've ever seen, I think. Oh my gosh. $19.99. Here's some of the outdoor stuff. Again, I feel like it must have been just from shipping delays because way out of season here for Southwest Michigan. Okay, yay. So on the other side, I found the two-tier mesh that I was looking for. Someone on an Aldi Facebook group had this for movies and I thought it looked really cute. So we are actually redoing parts of our basement and I want to put movie snacks in ours too. $12.99 and I'm getting it. All the cutest sheets, bins, mop refills, this is a really good price. I just put these in all my bathrooms a couple years ago, getting them their own, and it was not $3.99 a piece. I wish I had that price. Oh, here's the faux leather leggings, $12.99. Still have all the floppy hats. These are also new this week. How cute, a hollow snowman, Santa or reindeer, and chocolate or white chocolate. They're $3.99 a piece. Super adorable. Here is my cart for the week. Any guesses on the total? $105 and change and I feel like it was almost like a little mini Christmas morning. Not only did I get red stickers, which I love to find, I found elf cereal, little Debbie cakes, and I'm not on keto tomorrow, so the world is my oyster, even though and even though I bought both those, I'm obviously not going to like binge and eat them all, but it's nice to know that I can and that they were there when I am able to eat them. Also, I'm really excited to try the cranberry jalapeno dip. I love sweet, savory, and spicy stuff together, so I think that'll be fun to take with the vegetables. And all in all, I feel like I had some great finds. So now let's get to the meal plan for the week. I'm home 30 seconds and the blueberry muffin's already busted into, but here's the meal plan for the week. Butter chicken times two. I moved this from last week and we had other pantry meals because it sounded so good to me. I'm very much looking forward to having this. I'm making like a chicken pot pie base and then putting drop biscuits in on top and they'll cook on top. It's kind of like a dumpling biscuit mix. I'm making homemade chili sauce. We're gonna have chili dogs and french fries and some fruit with that. Then we have two Thanksgiving dinners. We go to one on my mom's side of the family and then one in my in-laws house. For my in-laws, I'm taking green bean casserole and some chocolate-covered strawberries and mashed potatoes. These chocolate-covered strawberries are meant to look like little turkeys. And then I'm going to take the veggie tray and the dip to my aunt's house, my aunt and uncle's, for the other Thanksgiving dinner. And then hopefully, especially for my in-laws, we'll probably have leftovers from Thanksgiving and the other meals of the week. So this is the meal plan for the week. If you're interested in seeing how I make a homemade green bean casserole, you can check out this video right here. I essentially started making it this way because I had a gluten-free co-worker and I would take this to the Thanksgiving potlucks at work. And so I made up my own green bean casserole recipe and now I love to make it this way. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.